searching for a longer day. People feel it. Hi guys, welcome back into today's video and if you're new, please remember to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber, you already know you you your sweetheart, you are our favorite person. So in today's video is basically uh, cook with me breakfast, lunch and dinner and also do some cleaning. So I'm boiling my sweet potatoes. Uh, we are going to have sweet potato for breakfast with bread and some tea. And guys, I'm happy to share with you how I make my ginger tea. Add my fresh grated ginger then i add my water uh, my ratio of water to milk is one to one cup uh, while boi while cooking this tea please please do not mix uh, the fresh ginger with the fresh milk first boil your water with ginger and also add some tea leaves when it, it has boiled now you can add your milk reason why because uh when you add all of them together they will mazoe itakuwa maziwa mala if that's the correct thing yeah mazoe itashikana kama maziwa mala so first of all boil your ginger and water then you can add your tea leaves at that point or later but personally i prefer to add it uh, at that point then i add my milk then i let it boil kabisa i let it boil like I reduce my heat completely so that my tea boil at that point so my tea has boiled and at this point may reduce motor kabisa it can boil and boil and boil and boil. Guys, this is much later and uh, I just ordered my eggs and they are here. So guys, I know, I know, do not come for me, please kindly. Personally, I do wash my eggs. Yes, you had it right. I do wash my eggs. Uh, I just like feel like when I crack the shell, if I have not washed, in a kwanga na <laughs> some feathers yeah i guess i'm saying the right thing yes so i prefer washing my eggs and at the point where i'm like i want to cook uh when i break i eat a token you can see when please try when you break an egg if you have not washed that is it's dirty try and see it apart of it was a black so that's why i love washing my eggs so guys it's lunchtime and i'm about to cook so i'm having some red green yellow peppers and have some onions and i'm having a lot of onions i've mixed with they're called leek onions that's what i was told i have some peas i have some ginger and garlic i have some grated carrots carrots <laughs> i have two eggs I also uh, have uh, salt, yeah, I have roiko, 
also I have black soy sauce uh, I prefer using black soy sauce I also have some leftover leftover uh, rice and my golden mafuta so guys let's cook so at this point you already know i'm making a uh, vegetable rice with some leftover rice yeah and it's a quick fix for lunch guys it's a quick fix for lunch also you can do it at the evening but i had some leftover rice and i said why not make a quick fix for lunch yeah so guys i'm mixing my onions first already know i love a lot of onions i love a lot of onions then i'm adding my salt uh because i prefer adding my salt at this point also i prefer adding my soy sauce at this point you already know i love my spices well cooked well cooked kabisa kabisa i don't like to feel that taste of uncooked spice So after like two minutes, I'm adding my ginger and garlic paste. this particular point my onions are ready so I'm adding in my bell peppers all of them also I'm going to add in my carrots uh, because I want them also to be well cooked reason why I grated my carrots is I love grated carrots yeah <laughs> I don't have a very major reason you can also dice them if you want or grate them if you want guys i'm adding in my cubes and remember i love my spices well cooked then i'm going to like let it cook completely also i'm going to go in with my peas now i can let uh this combination cook for a while before i add my other ingredient Exactly after five minutes on my low heat, I'm going to add in my eggs and you can if you don't like eggs you can skip this part but for me I love eggs also my family loves eggs so we can add eggs at this particular point. Up all night by myself trying to figure ways to you your voice stuck in my brain we never got to see it through and i know i feel more pain if we're speaking truth because when the day like comes i still lose comes i still lose so when i feel it again i just don't know and i'm hoping i'll find a way to let go so if you love me how could you leave me so long so 
now after your eggs are well cooked after they have incorporated with each and every bell pepper you can finally add your cooked rice remember mine it's a leftover rice you can also do a fresh rice like the one you have cooked like apo apo <laughs> yeah so guys uh please keep watching keep commenting keep liking do you love this uh, recipe please try it if you do yeah and it's very yummy Back here all the time, hoping that we did it right. And give me any reason to call you up late at night. And we know it's for the best. I won't put up a fight. Cause when the day I comes, I still lose. Comes, I still lose. So when I feel it again, I just don't know. And I'm hoping I find a way to let go. So if you love me, how could you leave me so long? So when I feel it again, I just don't know. I just don't know. So guys my rice is ready and let me tell you I can't wait to dig in I'm serving it and I'm about to dig in with an avocado so guys thank you for watching so this far and remember to like and you can also give me tips uh, of how you make yours I'll really appreciate Uh, guys this is very very much later and i'm from the salon and guys my kitchen is a mess my kitchen is a mess i'm about to clean it then i cook supper let me clean it with you guys
for our dinner we are making omena yes we are eating omena today and yeah everyone has his her own way of cooking omena and this is my way first i soak them in warm water soaking them in warm water i drain them and run them in cold water and yeah then i'm going to deep fry them let me show you uh, the reason why i'm not using a lot of oil is because i'm sure after using this oil i'm not going to store it i'm very very sure so I prefer using uh, just minimal oil for the frying. This is our omena, it's ready and guys, let me tell you, this is a snack in my house. So I'm having my tomato paste, I'm having my ginger, I'm having my onions, my reiko and salt. That's all, so I'm going to make a paste and dip them inside. Meanwhile, my ugali is getting ready. So guys, I've used the same, same oil I used to deep fry the omena to make the paste. So I told you Omena is a snack in my house and yeah, it's him, him enjoying my Omena as a snack. He just uh, put salt and eat it like that. Personally, I don't think I can. <laughs> yes. Trying to think of ways to you Your voice stuck in my brain We never got to see it through And I know I feel more pain If we're speaking truth Cause when the daylight comes I still lose So will I feel it again? I just don't know And I'm hoping I'll find a way to let go So if you go guys at this particular point our omena is ready and i'm about to plate it thank you guys for sticking to the end of this video please try out these recipes and if you have your own way please comment down below bye see you until the next one